Hi Year 10, hope you are safe and hope you are well. Um, so for the last YouTube remote learning lesson, I wanted to look at question 6.4. Now, I know in lessons we've looked at question 6.1, which is costume, um, set, lighting, um, sound. I know we haven't touched much on lighting and sound yet. Um, question 6.2 was on a line of dialogue. Question 6.3 um, was on the shaded part of the extract. And question 6.4 was one I think we were just coming on to, if I remember correctly. And we were just about to start it. And I think one group might have written it in um, their books, the structure. But that was about as far as we got. So what I wanted to do is just spend a little bit of time going through this question. Which means while you are at home, you've looked at the structure of the 32 mark question. And now we're looking at the structure of the 20 mark question. So this is the last question in Blood Brothers. As you know, in Blood Brothers, you'll be given um, a extract of um, the play. It can be any scene throughout the play, so we've really got to know this play inside out. Again, I'd encourage you, if you have got a copy of the play at home, give it a read. If you have got access to YouTube, as you have, um, please have a watch of it. Just really familiarise yourself with this play. Make sure you know everything about it and everything about the characters. Question 6.4 will come in a question like this. So it will give you a character you are performing. It may not be the same character you have been talking about in questions 6.1, 2 and 3. So this particular one, um, this question here, says you're performing the role of Mickey. So we'd be looking at Mickey in this question here. Describe how you would use your acting skills to interpret, interpret sorry, Mickey's character in this extract and explain why your ideas are appropriate for this extract and the play as a whole. Now, I'd urge you to use this question, if you've got um, a copy of the play, find a scene with Mickey in and pick that as you see. The first one you come to, and imagine that's the scene from the extract. That will really help you, and you can do that for any character in any scene, um, really getting some practice on these exam questions. Remember, anything you've done, any work you've done, any practice, you can send me, email it over, srichards at johnfanny.org, and I will mark it, and I will send you some feedback. You just need to send it to me. I've had a couple of bits from a couple of people, but I'm looking for a lot more now, please. So, describe how you would use your acting skills. Your acting skills are your your um, vocal skill, your physical skill. So that is things like your um, pace, pitch, pause, tone, and uh, your body language, facial expressions, gesture, um, uh, physicality, and your proxemics. So describe how you would use those skills to interpret Mickey's character in this extract and explain why your ideas are appropriate. So why your ideas work for this particular moment and for the um, play as a whole. So you might be looking at the scene where Mickey, um, we're first introduced to Mickey at seven years old and you're looking at um, when Eddie first comes onto the stage. Now Mickey jumps up when Edward says hello and he runs through the door. So you would use the acting skills, you'd use your eye, um, your eye line, your physicality, you'd be moving quite a fast pace. And as you say your line, you might be quite concerned, quite inquisitive. Who is this person who's come down here? He doesn't look like me. What's going on? So you would des describe that whole moment and you would say how you interpret the character of Mickey. So you would say notes about that character first. You would say, in this extract, I interpret Mickey as. That can be your starting sentence. So in this extract, I interpret the character of Mickey as vulnerable, innocent, and aware. Something like that. So three kind of descriptive words describe the character in that moment. Then you will talk about that particular extract. So the extract you're given in the exam paper. You will pick three quotes from that extract. Any three quotes that Mickey says in that extract. You will talk about the pace, pitch, pause, tone, accent, gesture, um, facial expressions, proxemics within that quote. So you will say, at this particular moment, when Mickey says, um, do you live up by the park? I've not got a copy of the text in front of me, I'm sorry, so I'm thinking off the top of my head. Um, do you live up by the park? When Mickey says the line, do you live up by the park, he will say at a fast place, he's so excited that um, a boy has come down who lives up by the park, he's never allowed to play there. He will say at a high pitch to show that he is an adult actor playing a seven-year-old child, but also to show the excitement at this moment. He would show the naivety that um, a boy like this could come down and play down here and they could be best friends. Then, after you've described that quote in detail, you would then link it to the play as a whole. So then you would say... 
one another moment where we see Mickey as a vulnerable, naive character is when he um is with Sammy and he agrees to go to the garage with Sammy and he knows that something bad's going to happen, but he goes anyway because he trusts got that trust in his older brother. You could say it was on his, when he's on the bus, when he's at the front with his teacher, um, when he meets um, Eddie again after all this time and he asks for a ciggy. That moment then, he's a bit vulnerable, he's a bit naive um, in those moments. So you would decide the notes about the character. So you would decide those descriptive elements of the character. Then in the extra, you talk about the quotes that you could use. And then you link it to the play as a whole. Now, when you link it to the play, you don't have to describe how you would act out the other moment in the play you're linking to. So you might say, in this moment, Mickey is very naive and very vulnerable. Another time we see Mickey when he's vulnerable is when he is looking for his pills with Linda. When he says the line, where are my pills? We see in this moment, Mickey is particularly vulnerable um, as he has um, really changed over the course of the play and obviously has just got out of prison and is really relying on these antidepressants. Then full stop. And then you go back to the extract in the um, written exam and you pick another quote. So I'm going to go through the structure again in a minute if that's not 100% clear. Please try and give two to three examples. Three is brilliant because 20 marks for this question. Okay, this is the structure. Try and note this. Obviously, we've got all the things um, in your fact book. They're really important to know that you've got key scenes throughout the place. Try and list the key scenes, list the key moments so you know the play inside out. Um, the themes throughout the play. Um, so vulnerability, loyalty, love, hate, jealousy, fear. There's, there's so many to mention um, and how you can link those together. Um, and you need at three, three quotes from um, for the exam. So try and think about all the relationships you could talk about. This, so link it to the question is your first thing. Identify a moment in the extract. State how you would act this out. Always use your to show that because that is your analysis. That is your analysing that you know the play. You can do your intentions audience reaction. This is kind of an optional thing. It does help some people. So what do you intend to show the audience in this moment? And then you link it to the play as a whole. Another moment to back it up would be great. Um, and you do get a copy of the play in the exam. It's a clean copy that we provide you. So you can't have any notes in it, but at least it helps you don't have to remember every single quote from the play. You just need to know a rough scene that you're thinking of and you can flip to that in the play and then you would know it there. To give you a bit of an example now, let me go on to this. Okay, so in this particular exam paper, this is the 2018 exam paper, you get the page and this is Blood Brothers um, and it's a scene with Mrs. Johnston and Edward as an example. As you can see there, you've got the shaded extract that you're using question 6.3, but this whole extract here, it's just whole page of A4, for question 6.4, you'd pick three quotes, three lines of dialogue out of there. So if you're talking about Edward, you'd pick three of Edward's lines. The question's down here, as you can see, it's an either or. So question 6.4 is a performing question. Question 6.5 is a designer question. Do not do the designer question. We are not answering the designer question. We are answering the performer question. So this particular one, you're performing the role of Mrs. Johnston. Describe how you would use your acting skills to interpret Mrs. Johnston's character. As you can see, that interpret character is there again. And as you can see, explain why your ideas are appropriate for this extract and the performance as a whole, okay? So, what I would like you to do is look at that question and answer that question, okay? So you're following the role of Mrs. Johnston, and I'll go back up to the extract so you know which extract it is. If you want to take a photo of that or freeze that so you know. And then I'll go down here and you can see the rest of the extract here. Remember, you're picking three quotes from that particular one there. Okay, so, I'm going to leave you just with this structure here. As always, any questions on any of this, please feel free to email me. But don't worry. If you are at home going, I have no idea what she just said. I'm really struggling. Don't worry. Two things you can do. Absolutely try your best and try and do an answer and email it to me and I can help you out. There will always be positives, I promise. Um, or email me and just say, Miss, I'm struggling, can you help me? And I will absolutely help you. Alternatively, the Friday, obviously available on Teams. 
but just just talk to us now on in when we come back in september hopefully september we will be looking at the written exam in loads of detail i know there'll be loads of questions on devised and scripted and what's happening and trust me i have them questions as well but we will get through it together so please try not to worry all right i will be there for you and we will get through it so don't worry i'm not worried we'll get through it we'll do the written exam and you guys will smash it because you're absolutely fantastic okay so have a lovely break over the summer try to have a break please all right see you soon hopefully take care